Good morning, YouTube. Long time no see in this room. It feels like we're back in bodybuilding prep, but we're not. But I owe y'all some updates. As you can see by the title, I'm bulking for this summer. Feels good to be back home after a bunch of travel, vlogging my day for y'all. As usual, we are gonna have a good day. We got a bunch of fun stuff planned, so make sure you're sticking around for the whole video for that. Unfortunately, the summer bulk starts now. It was not my original plan, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I'll explain more on why I'm starting to bulk now later in the video. First, I owe y'all a physique update on what I look like now, about two months after my bodybuilding show at 170 pounds. Definitely more bulked up than you've seen me. Not too heavy yet, but again, I'll explain why I'm bulking later in the video. But I'm gonna go downstairs now to eat my pre-workout meal. Then Mackenzie's coming to hit a workout with us. So we have a good day planned. Let's go get some breakfast. So right here, I have my pre-workout meal. Does not look super appetizing, but let me tell you, this is one of the most delicious meals I have. It's either cream of wheat or cream of rice. Today I'm doing cream of wheat because I'm working out a little bit later and this is a little bit slower digesting. Rice, Skippy peanut butter protein, which is one of my favorite proteins ever and some almond butter. It literally just tastes like a big bowl of sweet peanut butter. And it is the highlight of my morning. Also, we have water in our Helamix over here that matches our Young LA shirt. Code Casey on Rye Sups, Young LA, and Helamix if you'd like to support me. But I'm gonna eat this and then Mackenzie's gonna get here and we're gonna go work out. What is up, YouTube? We're dressed and ready to go to the gym. We're actually hitting a couple's back and shoulders workout. So we're gonna see how that goes. Hopefully she doesn't strangle me by the end of the workout, but we'll catch you at the gym. Y'all haven't seen this gym in a while. The OG Gold's Gym. This is one of my favorite gyms and I haven't got to train at it much recently. I'm very excited to get a workout in. There's nothing like your home gym. I swear I've been to every freaking gym in the country at this point. We're back home. We're gonna get a good workout. Y'all gonna get some great entertainment. Give me the intro of what we're doing. Chest support at Arsenal Row. <laughs> Bro, can't Who read. puts it on the bottom one? Me. I put it on the bottom <laughs> one because I got long ass arms, okay? This machine always absolutely cooks my back more than any machine. It'll never get old. Back exercise number one is done. Let's head over to some lap pull down. Hey. Show us how we're setting up lap pull down. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I actually can't do it. Bro, okay. Oh. Taking the Watch this one. Now we're gonna put it on. <laughs> Unsubscribe from my channel right now, bro. <laughs> Fuck, bro. You have to train to absolute failure. Every single rep. Do partial reps if you have to. But we wanna grow. If we're bulking now, we gotta grow. We gotta put on muscle. So guess what? You gotta train to failure, even if you don't want. Train hard.
Lightweight. Lightweight, baby. <laughs> Lightweight. Oh my goodness. Workout is done now. Here's the pump. I don't know if you can see it or not. That was a little couple's workout. I'm gonna show you what my back looks like right now after it's just a little bit pumped. I'll let you all be the judge. Drop a comment what you think about the pump. But we're gonna go head to the car so that I can tell you why I'm bulking during summer. So it's been about two months since my show and my original plan was to get up to a healthy body weight and then maintain leanness for the rest of the summer for social media for everything else because now obviously social media is my job so I do have to take it pretty seriously but that's not what's happening anymore. I'm going into a bulk a little bit unwillingly but we have to do what we have to do and you may be asking well why are you bulking now? Well my hormones are still messed up from competing naturally. My testosterone is still pretty low. My estrogen I'm assuming is very high because I'm holding a lot a lot of water and what was happening was my weight wasn't moving I was still around only four pounds up from stage weight but my physique was getting a lot a lot worse which means I was reverse recomping I was literally losing muscle and gaining fat at the same time and if you know anything about bodybuilding that is the exact opposite of what you want to be doing when my physique was getting notably worse but my weight wasn't changing I started struggling very very hard with body image issues which I have never ever struggled with in the past so it's actually kind of hard for me so it leaves me in a little bit of a sticky situation but I have to go into a calorie surplus make sure my hormones are all right and that I am putting my health first and that I am being healthy because it would have only been an even slipperier slope and my physique would have just kept getting worse and worse. We are embracing the bulk this summer. We're going to put the muscle back on and put some more muscle on. It's going to be awesome. We are going to get big. We are going to get jacked and we are going to get strong. So stick around for all the bulking content, putting my health first, making sure my hormones are happy and healthy and making sure more importantly that I am happy and healthy. But now let's get into a little bit of a happier mood and go eat our post-workout meal. We're back cooking up our post-workout meal. But Mackenzie, you gotta tell us what you got post-workout. What you got, what you got? So bro of me. So bro of you, what is it? Shredded crock pot chicken. What do you mean? Shredded crock pot That's chicken. So lame. Uh, jasmine rice and then some peppers. I'm about to show y'all what I'm making. It's not much different, just a little bit though. Little secret tip for y'all to make your meals taste better. Once you got your protein heated up in the pan and your rice heated up in the microwave, throw it down in the same pan together and then you season it. All those flavors are coming together. Check out what we got. Steak, chicken, white rice, cauliflower rice. We got this all in here. We got some broccoli that just finished over there. Just a little bit. A little salt, a little pepper. Your meals can taste fantastic if you do them up the right way. This is the post-workout meal. Look how delicious it looks. I added some sugar-free Polynesian sauce, some black sesame seeds. We got the broccoli on there. Delicious, easy, macro-friendly, good meal. Wait, 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 wait. We are now on our way to the outlet mall. I don't really know what Mackenzie wants to do at the outlet mall, but we showered up. We got our fits on now. What are we doing? Getting shorts for work. We're getting shorts for work. Now my work. I already got them. Young LA, these are the bandana shorts, Code Casey. We still got a bunch of fun left in the day. Make sure you're sticking around. I'm being a passenger prince right now, but I realized y'all might not have understood why my body is doing what it's doing right now because I don't know if I explained it too well. I was too lean for too long. I stuck to my diet almost perfectly, which was to my detriment. I should have had more cheat meals, more calories in the diet, but I stuck to my calories on my maintenance diet. Since my hormones were messed up from being a natural competitor in bodybuilding, being so lean, my body wanted to gain more weight and obviously was gonna try to put on fat because being that lean is not healthy for your body for a bunch of different things that was cold all the time things of that nature which is why my hormones are doing what they're doing and why they have not rebounded completely from my show so I just figured I'd give you guys a little insight on that it might not have made as much sense earlier but I hope now it does what up we're here we're here now I'm going inside I'm not bringing the camera so Catch you guys later. We hit the grocery store after the outlet mall. This is my grocery haul right here. This is all Mackenzie stuff. This is mine. I got pickles and two things of almond milk. Super sick and anabolic grocery haul, I know. But we are about to go cook and prep a whole bunch of food. So I'm gonna teach y'all how to prep some food. What I'll be cooking today is grass-fed lamb shoulder chops, which will be dinner that I got on special for super cheap. Some grass-fed, grass-finished, 92.8 ground beef also got on sale. And then some regular chicken breast. I'm gonna teach y'all how to cook since a lot of y'all say you still don't know how to meal prep or your mom makes the bad food. So I'm gonna teach you how to cook it right here. This is the easiest one. Chicken breast, you get all the fat off there, right here, like this, and then boom. You cut it, regular chicken breast size pieces. You wanna know what you do? Sprinkle some seasoning on it, and then you go throw it on the grill. Grilling makes your food taste better, but if you don't have it, you can throw it in a pan. And while you're prepping everything, make sure you turn on the grill. Now what we're doing with the ground beef is making burgers. 
four ounces each. We weighed them out beforehand, so I don't have to weigh them out after. You don't have to eat them in burger form. I can throw this in a pan and then chop it up and have beef and rice. It's gonna get the good grill flavor and it's already pre-weighed for us, so it makes it easy. Just season up the burgers, salt, pepper, garlic. We gotta go outside to get the chicken off the grill. I don't go by time, I go by time in my brain. Casey, how do you know when the chicken's done? Does it look done? Yes, take the chicken off. Is it pink in the middle? No. Good. Is it super dried out in the middle? No. Also good. Take it off the grill. We got our chicken all chopped up, ready for the week. We got eight burger patties here. We got our dinner tonight, which I'm about to show you guys what we're gonna have for dinner. It's easy. Make sure you guys are meal prepping your foods so that you can reach your goals, even if you're bulking, even if you're cutting. I don't wanna hear any excuses, so it makes dieting super easy. I think I just made possibly the best dinner ever. Mackenzie, does it look good? Yes, he likes to make me my Greek food. Look at this. Lamb chop, rice and cauliflower rice, tzatziki sauce, broccoli, we got mine over here that looks very similar. I have some of that delicious chicken on here. Look how good that looks. We are going to enjoy our meal together and devour this, and we're gonna chillax for a little bit. I will catch you guys in the next clip with a full, full stomach. I'm waiting to have mine, but Mackenzie is now having her Ninja Creamy made with rice, vanilla peanut butter protein. It is the best, 250 calories, an entire pint of ice cream. Look how good that is. Vanilla peanut butter is one of the best flavors for that. Literally vanilla ice cream already. We're gonna go watch the Arnold documentary actually. Hang out, watch movies, eat some protein ice cream, low calorie protein ice cream that is, and enjoy. But if you made it up until this point of the video, make sure you comment peanut butter, just so I know some of y'all who are sticking around. Cause I see you guys in the comments, but thank you for sticking around until the end of the video. I love you guys, I appreciate you guys. Code Casey on everything. I will catch you in the next YouTube video. Peace.